in our uh, multimedia discussion, uh, I wanted to bleed this into movies because I think movies are the penultimate form of multimedia in video game culture. And since I've already talked about the Kingdom Hearts VR experience, which in and of itself is kind of like a movie if you don't know about it, uh, and that bleeding into Sony, like I said, all this came up organically and, and trying to piece it all together. I just wanted to come out here on the talk show and talk about it. Spirits Within Final Fantasy was the first Final Fantasy movie. Uh, full CGI. Again, full CGI uh, was something that wasn't very well done or very popular at the time either. Um, it was still very much a new thing and a new look. Uh, uh, that wasn't like a Disney Pixar movie, CGI cutscenes uh, from the from the PlayStation days. You know, this kind of thing wasn't really uh, popular. So Final Fantasy Spirits Within comes out, and it wasn't a Final Fantasy game based on any one movie. The concept uh, was very much like Xenosaga, if you've never heard of Xenosaga, uh, in terms of uh, like what kind of goes on. I don't want to spoil it because the chances are you might have not seen it, being a younger viewer or being an older viewer. The chances are you didn't see it. Uh, again, these movies weren't box office hits. Uh, we don't really show cartoons or anime or these type of movies in our movie theaters unless it's a Disney Pixar movie, obviously. Uh, but in, in Japan or maybe some other places, uh, the chances to get some of these movies playing on like uh, more of a on a higher scale than like a pop-up shop movie or like your drive-in movie that just happens, you know, in LA or, you know, in some obscure town on some random day. Uh, they're shown more regularly. So here it wasn't. Uh, I remember when this first came out, I was super pumped because it was right after like Final Fantasy X. Now, Final Fantasy X changed the game, uh, but I remember watching the movie and thinking it looked so great, and it still does. It still holds up in terms of CGI today. I remember, uh, you know, people kind of saying that they didn't like it necessarily. It didn't, uh, it wasn't the classic Final Fantasy that they have all at that time come to expect from the franchise. Uh, Final Fantasy, you know, Final Fantasy X previous was very much well rooted in what we would now call, um, you know, uh, standard Final Fantasiness. Uh, I guess it wasn't until later, uh, after this one, that they really branched out in terms of everything. Uh, that's not to mention how the graphics and everything have improved and gameplay styles. It's just, it's just a long conversation. Uh, I don't want to go crazy into it. I just want to uh, say that this was the first foray into um, Final Fantasy and the movie video game genre. Now, mixed media and multimedia and video games has always been around. Uh, you remember Mortal Kombat. Obviously, the list can keep continuing, but I want to stay here and, and, and give a little bit more praise to multimedia and gaming because uh, I think it's done well and I, and, I, and I like getting more story that isn't DLC, so to speak. Whereas we get, we just get so much more, and I and I love when a company actually takes a risk. Uh, I don't care what really anyone says. You playing a video game and then deciding to make a movie, uh, not even based on that video game, is a huge risk uh, for your company and the name and what and what the product you're putting out. It's a huge risk. Is is and and I appreciate and I really want to commend those risks that Sony has particularly taken here. Now. They definitely did take their criticism from Final Fantasy Spirits Within and put it into their next project, which uh, this one you might have seen most definitely is Final Fantasy Advent Children. Yo, it's the Grown Kid Talk Show. 